Welcome to Science Tree Channel and today's topic is General Characteristics of Organic Compounds. In my previous lectures, we have discussed in detail that what are the reasons of the diversity and magnitude of organic compounds. So let's discuss about the characteristics. Now the word origin means that from where we get the organic matter. Naturally occurring organic compounds are obtained from plants and animals. We all know that all fossil fuel is made up of carbon, which change into organic matter due to geological processes. And that geological processes will gonna be occurred on plants and animals which give us large number of hydrocarbons. Inorganic compounds are obtained from minerals and rocks. So in origin we can find out that what are the sources of organic compounds and what are the necessary calories we are getting from the organic compounds. As I have told you before, we can get the organic compounds from plants and animals. So now, animals will give you proteins and oil or fats. Now the sources of proteins are eggs, mutton, chicken, beef and fish. It means all type of meat gives you protein. Now if I talk about fats and oils, it means I am talking about milk, butter and cheese. Now moving toward plants. It depends whether plants are living or the dead ones. The dead plants will give you coal, petroleum and gas. Big source of hydrocarbons. And the living plants will give you carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins and oils. The very basic source of carbohydrate is wheat, maize, potatoes, barley and rice. While in case of proteins, pulses and beans are rich in protein. Apple, orange and banana will give you vitamins. While if I talk about oil, we can get oil from many plants like peanut oil, palm oil, olive oil, soya bean oil or the sunflower oil. So these are our food items from where we can get carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins and many other hydrocarbons or organic compounds. Now what the organic compounds are made up of? Carbon is an essential constituent of all organic compounds. They are made up of few elements such as carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, halogen and some others. So what the inorganic compounds are made up of? Inorganic compounds are made up of almost all the elements of the periodic table known so far. Organic compounds mostly show covalent linkages. Organic compounds contain covalent bonds which may be polar or non-polar. As we know that carbon is a non-matter and it is an essential element of organic compounds. While the other is hydrogen which is also a non-metal. So whenever a bond is formed between non-metals and non-metals, it's gonna be a covalent linkage. And if we talk about inorganic compounds, mostly they contain ionic bonds. Because in case of inorganic compounds, we used to form bond between metals and non-metals. Now, what is this? Yes, this is ethane. Having two carbon atoms joined with hydrogen atoms with a single bond in it. 
and this is an example of organic compounds. A very important question which used to come in exams. Why covalent compounds are bad conductors of electricity? Now what is your opinion? Yes, you are right. Covalent compounds are formed on the basis of sharing electrons. When the electrons are shared within the bonds, there is no electrons available to conduct electricity. As we know that current flow means the movement of free electrons. Now in case of covalent linkages, there are no free electrons available. That's why covalent compounds are generally poor conductors of electricity. Now we will discuss about solubility. What the word solubility means? It means the ability to dissolve. Now organic compounds having non-polar linkages are soluble in organic solvents. As we know that this is the universal rule. Like dissolves like. So now organic solvents like alcohol, ether, benzene and carbon disulfide are best for organic compounds. In case of inorganic compounds with ionic bonds, mostly they are polar. So that's why they used to dissolve in polar solvents. Now here comes electrical conductivity and I have discussed it before as well. In case of organic compounds, due to the presence of covalent bonds, organic compounds are poor conductors of electricity. And what is your opinion about inorganic compounds? Inorganic compounds are ionic in nature. So we know that ionic compounds are formed by the complete transfer of electron from one atom to another atom. So the free electrons are available and are good conductors of electricity in molten state or in aqueous solution. Now here again, the point to think about is that why they are good conductors of electricity in molten or aqueous solution. Because in aqueous solution or in molten state, they get ionized. So free ions are available in that state. While in case of solid form, the ions are attached with each other. So in that case, free electrons are not available. So in organic compounds are good conductors of electricity in aqueous solutions or in molten states. Melting and boiling points of organic compounds are low. Now why? Because there is a covalent linkage which is formed by the shearing of electrons. And definitely this linkage is not that much stronger as we compare it to with ionic compounds. In case of inorganic compounds, they have comparatively high melting and boiling points due to ionic bond. Stability now what is your opinion? After knowing that organic compounds have low melting and boiling points, definitely if they can boil easily, how are they gonna be stable? And organic compounds have low melting and boiling points, they are less stable than inorganic compounds. Combustibility What is this? An ability to burn, to originate. Organic compounds with high percentage of carbon. So that's why they are combustible. Inorganic compounds are mostly non-combustible.
isomerism the word isomerism means same composition iso means same and merism means composition a main characteristic of organic compounds which differentiate them from inorganic substances is their tendency to exhibit the phenomena of isomerism they can form number of structures within the same formula hydrocarbon having same formula but different structures give them a wonderful variety isomerism is rare in inorganic substances isomers means that if i deal with four carbon atoms it means it can be butane or it can be isobutane and if i deal with five carbon atoms it can be pentane isopentane or neopentane in all these cases structures are different but the number of atoms will remain same the rate of reaction is quite dependent upon the covalent linkage due to the presence of covalent linkages the reaction of organic compounds are molecular because sharing of electrons take place so that's why often slow and requires specific conditions such as temperature pressure or a catalyst catalysts are different substances which are used to speed up the reaction thank you so much for more videos keep watching have a great day